Hey guys, this is Ghost with Miner coming at you from Power of YouTube through the Internet of the South. Okay guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at the most profitable coin to mine today on an NVIDIA graphics card, and that's Aeon. Stay tuned for this video guys to see how to do it. Okay guys, so I did switch up my mine rig just a little bit. Um, sometimes <clears throat> if you, you know, especially with graphics cards, like I always tell people, you invest what you can and what you can invest, don't invest. But the cool thing about graphics cards compared to ASIC miners, you can always sell one of your cards for pretty much the same as you bought it for. So I sold one of my 1066 gig cards for 270 on offer up. I took my GPU out of here, which was a 1070 Ti, and I put it to work. Again, I'm always about mining, so again, I, sometimes I don't need to play video games anyways. But I did get a pretty good deal on a 1080 Ti on eBay for 500 bucks. So that's coming in pretty soon. Again, I'm not too sure if I want to mine with it or play games with it. It really depends. Um, so far, I'm kind of in a middle place with that. Anyway, so let's go ahead and look at, that's just a little update on my mining rig. So let's go ahead and look at uh, the EWBF um, Aeon Miner. So as you see right here, it's pretty much looking the exact same thing as my EWBF uh, Zcash Miner. One of the biggest differences when you do mine Aeon is going to be the hash, or solutions, the second hash rates, whatever you want to call them. It's going to be about half. So the first one we see right there, which says two, 214 solutions a second, that's actually my 1070 Ti. Normally on Zcash, you get about 430, especially on my um, settings for overclocking. That's normally what I get. So it's a little low, but don't worry guys, you're still gonna be making more profit than mining Zcash, even more profit than uh, NiceHash. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to actually get this application on your computer and how to get an Aon wallet. Awesome guys, let's go ahead and take a look at that computer screen and I'm gonna show you how easy this actually is. Okay guys, sorry about all the wind noise. Again, I am in my mining room. So it's a little loud, I have a couple fans going and I do have the GPU set to 70% fan speed to keep them nice and cool. Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you the easiest way to start uh, mining Aon. So first things first, just open up uh, Google, and as you see right there, I do have some huh, some uh, bookmarks. But all you need to do is pretty much type in EWBF CUDA or CUDA eCash Miner V 0.5 into Google. So it's going to be right here under BitTalk.org. So go ahead and click that. This is a safe website always look for the HTTPS so let's go ahead and click that and it's going to talk a little bit about the bugs and the expectations for cards you can see right there um, this is going to show you how much it's going to be mining again this is not 7.5 thousand it's going to be 75 solutions a second um, 135 solutions a second as you go down here 345 solutions a second that's why I'm kind of hesitant. I might actually use my GTX 1074 a mining card. Um, I might, I might not. I do enjoy games. I don't know. Uh, let's see how much <laughs> mining I want to do. So as you come down right here, these are going to be the hyperlinks to actually um, the download portion of it. So if you're on Windows, download Windows. Linux, download Linux. So you're just going to click right here. And this is going to pop up. So here we go. And you can see from the date view, so you can see this came out um, on 6.15, and it'll show you the time. So we're going to go for the newest one, which is August 1st. This has a couple updates to actually make the cards run a little bit uh, faster. So get the uh, CUDA 8 right here. Don't get this one. This one actually gets you a little bit more uh, hash rates. So just open it up. It will start downloading right here and open it and there you go so this is your your mining so what I like to do uh, is just drag it over here and copy it and it extracts it as you do that so I have no GPUs this is not my mining setup 
Um, but the next thing you want to do is actually switch the settings so you can mine to your own wallet. So before we get into those details, guys, we actually need to get a wallet. So let's go back to trusty uh, Google. Let's open up Google Chrome. So the website we're going to be using is actually called, uh, we're going to be using Bilaxy. So you see right here, I already actually have some coins that got deposited. The crazy thing about um, Ion is that you actually get a pretty much a coin every couple hours. When you do mine Zcash, you get no coins. You know, it takes you a long time to actually get one coin unless you have a big mining farm. Now that the Z9 Mini is actually out on the second batch, um, it's definitely going to make the difficulty skyrocket on Zcash. I think I was making almost like two dollars a day with Zcash, which was just horrible, guys. I have a lot of money invested into these GPUs. Two dollars a day is not going to cut it, and that was before electricity cost. So, um, so this is the wallet you want. So, Bilaxy. So, just type into your address https bilaxy.com, and then you can actually create a account. This one, it does, you know, just like any type of account in the OS like um, Coinbase or Binance, you do have to have a, a valid ID. So you have to send some pictures in of your ID. Um, they do offer two-factor authentication with Google. So that's pretty cool. And it's pretty cool because all you need to do to actually change to exchange your coin once you get it because a lot of wallets don't offer this coin to exchange. So what you can do with this one is you'll go over here to um, balances it's going to show you all the coins they offer on their wallet which is a lot and again we're going to go to Aeon which is over here and also when you do create this Aeon wallet um, I'll show you a couple cool things with it uh, it's a little high up so you see I have 3.7724 coins um, and the profit of that is $1.74 yeah, so I think the coin right now is worth like 40 cents. So what we're going to do is you're going to go to trade. And then so you can either buy Aeon or sell it. So you'll put in pretty much 100% and then you'll you'll trade it. But I think right now, um, let's go ahead and try to sell it. And what you, what you sell it for is Ethereum. And the cool thing about Ethereum is you can transfer it to Coinbase, you can transfer it to your Trezor wallet, you can transfer it to a lot of places. So you can always do that to move your coin around if you need the money um, or if you want to hold your coin, there's another way you can do it. But that, re that actually requires a virtualization box and some other things, which I'll go into details on how to make a secure wallet with that later on in the future. So I think. Um, oh, also you can set up a password for selling coins. So let me go ahead and look up that password because I have passwords everywhere. I keep all my passwords off my phone because I'm paranoid that it might get hacked. So I write it in a book that's locked up. Okay, so the minimum amount of transaction cannot be less than 0.01 Ethereum. And I think that's like $3. So you can move your uh, money around, your coins around once you get three dollars worth of Aeon um, and again I the only bad thing about you know keeping your coins on an exchange just like back in December when nice Ash was hacked you know you don't want to keep your money on the exchange or even Mount Docs back when they were hacked a couple of years ago you know you don't want to keep your money on the exchange because you can lose it all you don't actually own your private key so definitely don't leave your money on the exchange but once you actually get the Aeon wallet, it has to look exactly like this. Uh, you can actually start mining to it. So I'm going to go back to um, funds, balances, and this is how you can actually get your Aeon address. So uh, I feel like I just passed it up again. Let me see, where is it? Sorry, guys, bear with me. There it is. So you're going to go to deposit. It's going to take a little time for it to load. So this is your Aeon wallet. Uh, this is your pro uh, sorry, your public key. So don't worry, you, you know, it's not my private key. Of course, you don't own your private key when it's on, like, on an exchange like this. But the way you can tell it's an Aeon wallet is 0xA. Okay, the rest kind of looks like Ethereum. So just make sure uh, that you have that properly. And then, 
So we're going to go ahead and copy this, and then we'll put it into our our uh, file over here. So with this, you're just going to go ahead and right click it. I'm uh, sorry, right click and edit. Okay, guys, sorry about that, but um, my computer has too many security features on it, so I came to my mining rig. So once you get it uh, downloaded, just go ahead and extract the files to your desktop, and then go ahead and right click run. And that's gonna open up this little box right here. And make sure it's selected and hit edit. So this is the way you want your actually uh, notepad to look. So you want it to start off with um, your, algo, your alg algorithm right here. So Ago Aon, because that's the coin we're mining. And then the server, so I'm using Luxar. Um, I'll show you in a little bit why I'm using it. And then your port, so we're using 3366. And then right here, let me go ahead and explode it. So right here, you're gonna see where you put your wallet. So that's my public wallet. So that's where you're gonna get the money sent to. And then dot a worker name. So that's my worker name. And keep password like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually put this in the, the uh, description below so you can just copy and paste it make sure to change this address right here guys i don't want y'all mining to my wallet unless y'all want to i don't mind the extra uh, solutions a second but you know if you want to mine your own wallet just copy over this and paste your wallet from bilaxy okay close this right here and before you close it it's going to ask you to save let me go ahead and do that just in case um or you can go file save okay make sure to save it and then just hit run and you are running a uh, mining, you're actually mining Aeon already, guys. So let's see how much solutions a second we're getting. And like I was saying in the beginning of the video, you are mining about half of what Zcash solutions get, but you are making more. So let's go ahead and let it connect to the network. And let's see what we're getting. So you can actually see my cards right there. So two 1070 Ti's, and it looks like one, two, three, four, five 1060's. So, sorry about the blurriness, but one uh, 10,093 um, solutions, sometimes it goes up to 11,000 solutions. So I'm going to show you how I can actually see that your mining machine is working, okay? So let's go ahead and go back to the computer, and I'll go ahead and show you how to see your mining rig in work, and how to see, um, and actually I'll go ahead and compare Zcash to Aeon, so you can see the big difference right now. Okay, go ahead and open up Google. Right here, go ahead and put in Luxar Mining. And it's gonna be the first one right here. Make sure it's HTTPS, there we go. And in the search right here, you're just gonna copy and paste your your mining, or your Aeon wallet, and it's gonna show you what's going on. So, um, I have been mining for about, I'm gonna to have to say, let's count it, um, since eight, to nine, so let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So about 13 hours mining, um, as you see right there. I have a little bit over four Aeon coins, so it mines pretty good. It hasn't been a, even 24 hours yet. The cool thing is you do get to have the whole coin. That's where later on I'm gonna show you how to do, um, I'll go ahead and show you a sneak peek at this. Um, so this is actually a virtual mach uh, Linux machine. So I'll show you how to make this wallet right here. Um, and as you see, it's, it takes a long time to actually get synced up with the, um, the blockchain to actually make a real wallet. But you can get your, um, your wallet address before. So right here is actually doing some work to actually get synced up. So it looks like it says 40 days and 17 hours. But it, again, I had it overnight and it was saying 108. So this is doing some work. I'll show you how to make this in an easy tutorial later on. And this is actually the only way you can actually store your Aeon um, safely with, so you don't have to worry about keeping it on the exchange. But we'll go over how to do this later on in the future. Today we're just making it easy guys. So this is showing you how much uh, your mining's, miner is doing. So you can I always like to bookmark that so you can come to it make sure your mining machine's working. So let's go ahead and go over here already have, uh, I guess I don't have it pulled up. So what you can do is you can go to 
Um, I like to go to mining calculator, and it's gonna pull up crypto compare. Um, so crypto compare. So this is how much I was actually making on Zcash with the same setup. So about two hundred and uh, two thousand two hundred solutions a second, as I was saying before. It's about you make about half the solutions a second with Aon, but you're making more money. And I was pulling nine hundred uh, watts from the wall. My electricity is ten cents a kilowatt, and uh, the mining fee is two percent. Look at that, guys! Whoa, I'm running again seven graphics cards. On today's market, Zcash is worth one hundred and fifty-four dollars. But I believe the difficulty did go up after the Z9 minis came to the market. And you can see that, guys. Look at that. Not even a dollar a day off of seven cards. That's crazy. Ooh, $6.64 a week. Mmm, sounds like money. $20.45. Wow. So, you guys, you're not making any money at all. And as you see right here, the cost of electricity is $64 a month. Uh, the power per day is two dollars. So if you take this in consideration, let's say you don't pay electricity, well then you're getting a little bit more. So let's look at Aon. So this is a low ball in it. So a thousand and eighty solutions a second. So you are making a dollar and eighty one cents a day. Uh, Twelve dollars. You can see this is already more than half. Uh, fifty percent more profit. So fifty four dollars a month. One hundred and sixty six dollars a year. But as you see right here, look at all those coins you're mining. Mining. So you just put it in set um, that private wallet, that Australian wallet. Go. You can hold on to them, wait for them to hit ten dollars, and you're making a lot of money. My math is not that good. Let's see. So if you had three thousand, you didn't spend not one. Three thousand four hundred and ninety cents times ten dollars a coin. That's thirty-four thousand dollars. Again, ten dollars is kind of high. It probably hit about three dollars a coin, but even then, that's pretty good profit. So just hold all, hold all these coins, hold on to them, and don't keep them on uh, bilaxy if you're hodling them. Uh, definitely, I'll show you how to make that um, private wallet in the next upcoming video I'm going to make. But anyways, guys, you can actually see the big difference from Zcash to Aon. So right now, Aeon is the most profitable coin to mine, even when it's only worth 42 cents. Anyways, guys, this was Ghostbit Miner coming at you from the power of YouTube through the Internet of the South. Make sure to hit that like button, or if you liked it, or if you disliked it, hit the dislike button. And if you hit the dislike button, let me know in the description so what I can do better for my next video. So anyways, guys, subscribe, like, share, and I'll see you in the next video. Ghost Bit Miner.